the main, you know, the main anomaly that I find the extremely puzzling, and they didn't even mention it, is the size of the object. So, it, it, based on on the data that we have by now, which uh, is not just the web telescope data that they mentioned, but uh, other details. Uh, it looks like the object is at least five kilometers in diameter and maybe more. And uh, that means that it's uh, uh, at least uh, a thousand times more massive than the previous comet. It should raise uh, a, a big uh, question. Uh, how is that possible? So. Uh, this should be really a puzzle. They should have mentioned it as a puzzle, but they don't even mention that. And the second uh, is why do we have it in the plane of the planets? I mean, obviously, it's a great fortune that all the NASA observatories can look at it. And they mention the fact that they look at it. They're really happy about the fact that they could monitor it all the time. But the fact that fact that they can monitor it all the time is really a miracle because only one in 500 incoming objects would be aligned so well with the ecliptic plane of the planets that allows mm. all these NASA assets to be used. So they don't comment about that. So all the things that appear extremely rare, you know, like uh, all these features, maybe they say something that is not well understood. So NASA, you know, these administrators basically are trying to portray an image of an unusual comet because it came from uh, and, and a, a different environment, but um, they don't attend to the fact that there are extremely rare properties of this comet that should that should uh, puzzle them. Catch the latest on this story at Fox 32 on Fox Local.